Today we are doing problem solving with percents. This first slide I did not give to you in your notes. It's just kind of a background on what percent actually means. Cent implies a hundred as in the word century. So a percent literally means per cent. So parts per 100. 25% means 25 parts per 100 and the decimal is 0.25. If you have a percent, you change it into a decimal by moving the decimal point two places to the left. So if you have like 5%, you would move the decimal place two to the left and it would become 0 0.05. Here's the first slide that you actually have. The primary use of percents is to compare numbers. Really what I want you to get out of this is what the word is means and what the word of video. Okay, the word is means equals, the word of means multiply. So here's a verbal model. I want you to write this out using words. A is P percent of B. And then directly below that, write A equals P times B. Is means equals, of means multiply. As long as you know that is means equals and of means multiply, you are going to be just fine in this entire section. So, first example. What number is 30% of 70? So we can use N for what number. Is means equals 30%. How do we write 30% as a decimal? 0.3. Of means multiply 70. If you translate the words into a mathematical sentence, now we just have to figure out how to get n. So in this case, we do 0.3 times 70. What do you get when you do 0.3 times 70? 0.3 times 70. 21. 21 is 30% of 70. Let's go over to example 2a. 14 is 25% of what number? 14 is equals 25% percent, 0.25 of multiply what number? And you can use any letter you want to. How would you figure out that one? Divide, 14 divided by 0.25 is 56. Okay, a union negotiates for a cost of living raise of 7%. What is the raise for a union member whose salary is 40,240? We want 7% of his salary, so 0 0.07 times 40,000 240. See if you can figure out or just calculate what that raise is and then figure out what is the person's new salary. So take a moment and do that. So here's our raise. Oops, I didn't mean to highlight that in green. Here's the raise and then add that to the original salary. Here's the new. Make sure you finish your answer by putting a dollar sign in front of it. Make sure that you use your label. Okay, B is a very easy problem, example 2B, after you kind of figure out what they're saying. You missed an A in your chemistry course by only three points. Your point total was 402. How many points were possible in the course? Assume that 90% is an A. So you're three points away from a 90%. That means 405 is a 90%. Do you agree that 405 would be a 90%? Take your score of 402, add the three points that it would take to get to an A, 405 points would be an A. So 405 is 90% of 
how many points? This would be your total number of points possible in the course. So 405, what does is mean? Equals 90%, percent point nine of multiply, and then how many points? That's what we're trying to figure out. How would you do that problem? How do you undo times point 0.9? Divide by point 0.9. And what did you get for the number of points? 450 points. Make sure you write the word points in there because your answer is not complete without a label. Okay. Do you feel like we need to do any more of these problems or do you kind of get that is means equals, of means multiply? If you can write it out using words, you can translate it to a mathematical statement and then you can solve it. Thumbs up, thumbs down on that. Okay, my class says it's good. If you're watching the video and you need more help with this, just let me know and I will help you at some point. Since we're not going to officially do example three, I do want to do a couple of, like we just did 90% is 0.9. You can write the zero at the end if you want to. That doesn't change anything. What would 4% um, be as a decimal? 0.04. What if I had 2.25%? What would that be as a decimal? 0 0.0225. There. Now you at least have a couple things to look at to remind yourself as you're converting from percents to decimals. Okay. <clears throat> Business applications. There's basically two formulas here. Selling price equals cost plus markup. And markup equals markup rate times the cost. As long as you have these formulas in front of you, you can do the next slide fairly easily. So, what was that first formula? So, I'm going to write it up here. Actually, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to write those here. But we need to figure out how to fill in all of these missing holes. So, I'm going to name this one X, this one Y, this one N, and this one M, and we'll figure out how to complete this table. First, let's look at X, cost. The first formula that I see cost in is selling price equals cost plus markup. So I've got selling price, I've got markup, cost is the only thing I don't have. So selling price, 125.98 equals the cost, which we don't know, plus the markup of 56.69. How would we figure out what the cost is? Subtract. So we grab our handy dandy calculator. 125.98 minus 56.69, 69.29. The cost is 69.29. Now the markup rate. Here's the equation with markup rate. So the markup, 56.69, equals the markup rate, which we don't know, times the cost, which we just figured out. This time it's a multiplication problem, so we solve it using division. 56.69 divided by 69.29. I get 0.818. What does 0.818 mean? Look at this other markup rate. The other markup rate is 20%. The markup rate needs to be a percent. 0.818 is 81.8% or 82%, depending on how you want to write that. I would accept either one. Okay, so this was... 0.818, you just move the decimal point two places back, and it's 81.8%. For the next line, I'm going to use a different color for the next line. Selling price, we don't know, equals the cost, 13250 plus the markup, which we also don't know. Since we don't know two things in that equation, 
We can't solve that one yet. So we need to try the other one. The markup equals the rate times the cost. The markup, which we don't know, equals the markup rate, 20%. How would we write that in here? 0.2 or 0 0.20 times the cost, 13,250. So on this line, we actually have to do the second box first before we can figure out the first box. So 0.2 times 13,250, 2,650. So the markup is 2,650. Once we know that the markup is 2,650, now we can solve this equation. To figure out what our selling price is. $15,900. This is really the same thing with slightly different formulas. The sale price is the list price minus the discount. The discount is the discount rate times the list price. Again, I would always give you these formulas. I would never ask you to memorize these formulas. On your assignment, I think you're going to have some of these to fill out. Just keep your notes out so that you have those formulas in front of you and assign each box a letter and just work step by step by step to get the letters that you need. If you need help with this while you're working on your assignment, please let me know. But for the sake of time, I think we're going to go ahead and start working on our assignment. Here's your assignment in the book. Starts on page 119. There are 10 problems total.